Moving on. Thousands of children are abandoned each year in Nigeria after being accused of witchcraft. In 2009, campaigners against the practice reported that around 15,000 children were accused of witchcraft in southern Nigeria's Cross River in Akwaibom states over 10 years, and that around 1,000 of the children were murdered. In our next story, social entrepreneur David Umem tells just Nigeria's Oluwashi Windowu how he is rescuing some of these children. I was accused of being a witch by my stepfather. I was stigmatized. I was blamed for so many things that happened in the house. There was no parents' love. I was a kind of being abused. I was kicked out of the house. I was taken to a church. I was badly beaten. I was kicked out of the house at the age of eight. This belief is carried over from time immemorial. We were born to hear it. We want to see it. Unfortunately, we have come to imbibe that rational belief. There are lots of factors that contribute or aid the branding of people as witches and wizards. And those factors would include, uh, include uh, poverty, lack of education, lack of medical facility, access to medical facility, empowerment of the women, and criti critical learning in education. <laughs> you're branded a witch, the community does not want you again because they feel you're a threat to other children in that community. If we see, for example, that this the family really wants this child, then what do we do? We have to take that family with that child away from that zone to another zone. We needed a refuge place for those level of children. That was why we established the African Children's Aid Education and Development Foundation to serve as a place of refuge for those children who have no other place to go to. Mr. David and his wife have supported me from primary school, specifically primary four, now, now I'm in year one in university. I know it's a very big step. I've grown up to be a better person. I've grown up to be an intelligent girl. I've grown up to be a bold person. I appreciate what they're doing. I'm aware of what they're doing. They're doing a good, great job. But we need to expand it, you know, to this, the grassroots. Well done, David. Every child deserves to live meaningfully. There's not a come here on just Nigeria from the BBC and Channels Television. South Sudanese volunteer teaches students how to make reusable sanitary pads. We will be right back. <laughs> 